Here we are at the Psy Resonance touch screen, uh, a demonstration of how the touch screen works. Touching any place on the screen lightens it up, and we have certain code digits which you can uh, very see lightly imposed on the picture of the house with an enter button to uh, lock the screen from uh, improper use. For this demo, we have a hidden button up here that we push to go to the main screen. From here, you have uh, all the pertinent information for the house. It shows the date, time, weather, that kind of general information, in, inside and outside temperatures, uh, vacation mode for the uh, climate control system. Uh, we have local lighting controls here. Uh, this happens to be located in the kitchen area, so we have the local lighting controls for the kitchen here, family room here, which are the two adjoining rooms where we are. We have a house pathway lighting, interior lighting, and uh, outside lighting controls. Then we have a security panel here that shows the uh, garage doors, the status, current status, open, close. That's actually photos of the doors, the actual garage doors, and the front gate showing the status of the date uh, of the gate, whether it's open or closed, and whether it's being held open. Um, and, of course, the alarm system, which shows uh, all the alarm controls. Down at the bottom of the screen, we have home, lighting, climate, pool controls, music, security, and general information and uh, um, maintenance information. So here, if we were to go to kitchen lighting. We're in the kitchen. We have uh, full controls for local kitchen lighting. You can turn on and off any any or all the lights. Same with the family room here. Different modes um, depending upon whether you're watching TV or, or just partying. We go back to the main screen, the lighting, the lighting screen. We can now monitor from here. Uh, we can turn off the whole, uh, the entire property or we can monitor the individual floors. And this shows the floor plan of the house with an indicator for each individual area, a room or area yard um, or yard area. Um, and it shows which uh, lights or um, areas are currently lit up. From here, you can monitor. You can also turn stuff off. So if we want to turn off the yard, you push that. turns off all of the yard lighting. And you can see all these uh, icons now turned off. If you want to, you can't turn anything on from this screen. It's strictly for monitoring and turning things off. To turn things on, you go to the individual room switches. Same thing goes for the basement, the upstairs, and the exterior shows the individual lighting and the, and the uh, landscaping. So if we go back to our home screen, we have, uh, again, a house pathway. This will light up a house pathway. This is also controlled by other switches in the house, um, but this will allow you to turn on and off the pathway. This will allow us to turn all the interior lights off or all the outside lights off from a convenient location on the front panel. Uh, some of the features of this uh, with the garage door security, if we were to come and open this garage door, you'll see that the screen changes to a video camera that happens to oversee the garage area and the parking area, and the, you'll see the main uh, large garage door open. Um, the, you can see that the uh, driveway is in the stay open mode, the gate here is in the open mode, and of course we close the individual doors and the status is updated. There it's closed, and you'll see that uh, the status indicator now indicates it's closed, and that's also displayed on the uh, main screen and other screens where the uh, security, for instance, the security system. This now shows that of the entire property, except for motion, motion sensors and, and those kinds of security issues, the only uh, tripped um, zone is the small garage door, which we saw was open. From this, you can this screen you can easily monitor all the security zones in the on the property, and uh, arm for the uh, system for away and home, and also disarm it. Uh, from the security screen, if somebody were to ring the front door, the screen will automatically switch to the front door camera. Here you can see the front door uh, and the front uh, uh, front entry. 
Um, we also have the driveway cam, which you saw with the security. We also have the cabana cam and the house cam, which cover the backyard and pool areas. If we go back to the home screen, and again, we can go back to our alarm systems easily to arm and disarm the home security again from that panel, that button. Um, alternatively, if we want to check out the pool, we push the pool button. The pool has a cover, and so the first thing we have to do is open the cover. So we switch to a video of the backyard that shows the pool, and you can see the, the cover opening at that point. Once the pool is cover is fully opened, we can then turn on and off uh, fountains and jets that are disabled while the pool cover is closed so that we don't flood the pool cover. Uh, these controls also prevent the pool control system itself from flooding the pool cover since the pool system doesn't have uh, any override for pool cover. So here we have a pool and, and spa control screen so we can turn on the waterfalls and say the deck jets and these then um, are the features that would be flooding the pool cover if we were to, and there you can see the jets going in, if we were to have the pool cover closed while these are on. So here you can see waterfalls here and deck jets going in. So if we go back to the pool controls and we can adjust the temperature and the spa and pool mode and that kind of thing. It shows current temperatures, set points and that kind of stuff. If we were to, uh, at this point, decide that we want to shut down the pool and close it, we can simply go ahead and close the pool cover. At that point, it disables all of the uh, fountains so that we can then close the pool cover. And we don't then flood the pool cover. On this screen, we also see again the video uh, of the pool cover opening and closing, but we also have emergency stop and open and close buttons. So if for some reason, while the pool cover is opening or closing, we can uh, override this system right here. Once the pool cover is uh, fully closed or fully open, uh, the screens automatically transition to the main uh, pool control screen or the home screen. And there we go. Then we have the climate control. With the climate control, this system monitor uh, allows you to monitor and control the individual uh, heat and air conditioning zones in the house. And in this case, you can see in the upstairs we have two separate zones, both uh, controlled uh, controlled um, by a single, or I should say handled by a single air conditioning heating unit, but uh, has two separate zones. Then we have a separate HVAC system for the main floor in the basement. And here, to you can monitor the temperatures here, or if you want to change them, you simply touch the button. Now this this is an Energy Star efficient system, so it monitors the current temperature and maintains current set heating and cooling temperatures, but this changes made at this point are only temporary, and so at certain times during the day, we have uh, Monday through Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we have morning, daytime, evening, and nighttime set back times. So in the morning, morning starts at 6 a.m., it ends at 8. The daytime starts at 8 and ends at 5. The evening starts at 5 and ends at 10, and then the nighttime goes from 10 till 6 a.m. Of course, these are all completely programmable to any time you want to change them to, and uh, this is where you do that change, those changes. If we go to this screen here, this now allows us to set the temperatures for the morning, daytime, evening, and night. And again, you can set these to any temperature you want, independent of each other, and uh, that's true for each of the different floors. Uh, I should say uh, heat in zones, whether it's on separate floors or not. Now for vacation, you have vacation setting where you can set uh, these to real wide temperatures so that your heating doesn't come on unless it's below 60 degrees or your cooling doesn't come on above, say, you know, 87 degrees. And you turn on 
your vacation mode here or on the climate control screen. So if I go here and I want to turn vacation mode on, we just turn it on. That sets all of the thermostats to the wide um, setback temperatures and you can see that vacation mode is on so that the heating and cooling will not come on unless the temperature of the house gets outside the ranges of the vacation set point. We have uh, music coming. Uh, this is a rest sound system so we can control the volume of the individual rooms and zones of the rest sound system either through the rest sound panel individual rooms that you see here or here through for locally for this particular area which is the kitchen family room area. And there you have it.